Media la yo ingila inje. Senior registrar ni ni ni. Vituko. The court needs to come and confirm what exactly is happening in uh, what is happening at Nakuru War Memorial. So the deputy registrar has been sent with an order from the judge to come and confirm if indeed to come and confirm if indeed the county is uh, interfering with the running of the hospital. We are here today, even as the law society, we have found that indeed access to the hospital is being denied. The deputy registrar, with an order from the judge, has come, and you have seen he has been, she has been frozen at the gate. The deputy registrar has been denied access to the hospital. Apparently, there are some people in the county who feel they are even superior now than uh, than, the, than our judiciary. They feel they are superior than the orders given by the by the high court. They are denying the, the deputy registrar access to ascertain what is happening. As a law society, we are greatly disturbed because this is a gross violation of human rights. There are patients in the ICU as we speak. A patient, as we speak, is in their need of um, medical attention. Doctors cannot access the hospital. We need to also enter. But there's a part of that. Chief, I am a Chief, you, you also respect authority. Don't, Anna don't, Wakili, yeah. don't instruct me. I'm not. Yes. She's the one calling you. Yes. The media is the fourth estate. You, you have to be the fourth of the court. What are you talking about? 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 What are Mama <laughs> 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 The, the media who are going to get it. This is an hospital. Let me, let me tell you, 
you're putting the county secretary in trouble. The court has already ordered that these parties to come and ascertain what is happening. I have not reviewed. If you stop, you know, and the media, you cannot stop the media. They have a right to, to, cover, an order. to cover. So you cannot stop them. Unless you're hiding something. Are you hiding sure? something, sir? Unless you're hiding something, you need to enter with the media. Come on, Fiji, get to see to Sumbue. Come on, Fiji, get to Mulawapa media. Numbers, do you have a bit Let's get to see I want to see your Let me take three. But we are for let us be reasonable. These are hospital. They are every patient. But when, you, but when you are doing that thing in the middle of the night, did you consider it is a hospital? Mm. How many of you are inside? More than a hundred. Hey, yeah, yeah, you, you can't tell us that. There is no even patient. You marauded this place and you're calling, calling it a hospital right now. Come on. Huh? This, this case is in open court. Yeah. That's why we are here. Let us just see what you have been doing. The public needs to know. Lakini <laughs> Let them go in a in a, in, in beat. What you hear is very much about this. It's not a crowd. Let them go. 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 Okay, thank you very much. Um, we are here today again, here at our War Memorial Hospital, and um, we are still saddened by the turn of uh, events. Um, as you could see, uh, yesterday, some directors uh, of this hospital were arraigned in court for purposes of taking plea. Today, the civil case was coming up uh, in court, and uh, what has happened is that uh, some officers of the county um, through their instructions, they raided this hospital uh, at night and uh, ejected the, the staff of uh, the hospital. This caused uh, a lot of problems, especially for patients who have uh, had to be, to be transferred. And uh, remember, some of these patients are people who are having critical illness. Some were in ICU. Uh, as we speak, I've just come from seeing a patient uh, from ICU. We were trying to organize how an ambulance can be brought so that it can be transferred to another facility. You will note that this is even against the patient's will because the patient willingly came to War Memorial Hospital to seek health services. But because of these wrangles, he has to be transferred to another hospital at another expense. I've just been talking to another uh, person who has come to visit their, their, their loved one, their patient. They have found the patient has also been transferred. They don't know where the patient was and he was also in ICU. 
I can tell you as LSK we are collecting evidence on a possible violation on human rights because the right to healthcare is a constitutional right and it will not be violated by anyone. Not the county, not the hospital management, not anyone should violate the right to, to, to healthcare. And that is exactly what we are, um, we are observing today. You saw an ugly scene here earlier when even a deputy registrar who has been deputized by the High Court judge to come and ascertain what is happening in hospital, was denied access to hospital and it had to take a lot of uh, calls, a lot of consultation for her to come to be allowed to ascertain what is, uh, what is happening. That again is uh, the, height of, uh, the height of impunity because the judge had made very clear orders that pending the hearing and determination of the case, the hospital should be allowed to run. But... Uh, Officers from the county, and you can see enforcement officers are here, are blocking patients from accessing the hospital. And um, they are not allowing any form of services to be, to be issued uh, in, this, in this hospital. That is impunity, which as LSK we do not take uh, lightly. It is something we intend to fight to the, to the highest level, so that um, any person who serves in public gets to understand that our constitution has to be has to be respected. It is very sad to see patients begging for services, yet they have already paid for those services. It's not like these patients are coming for free services. It is very it's very sad coming at this time and age where we want to feel that we are enjoying constitutional freedoms. It is very hard to see what is uh, what is happening. So we are waiting for the deputy registrar to give her observations to court we don't want to we don't want to state what her observations will be because now that will be left for the for the judge to interpret and make further directions but the deputy registrar has uh, has managed to come she has made her observations she'll do a report and uh, in the next one or so hours that report should be before the judge and the judge will make her, her determination or give further directions uh, on this on this issue thank you is the LSK going to take any steps after the report has Yes, yes, and that is why I'm here. As I mentioned, we are collecting evidence on a possible violation on human rights. Once we gather um, who has violated the human rights, we will file a petition against such person, and uh, the victims of uh, such violations will have to be compensated.